हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड हेल्दी एज यू हैव ग्रोन अप एंड नाउ यू आर इन क्लास थर्ड लेट्स बिगेन विथ सम लर्निंग फन टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट एनिमल्स इन द सब्जेक्ट एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज पूनम स्टे आउट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट Today's topics will be animals around us and animals and their movements. At the end of this video, you will be able to observe and name animals around yourself, classify animals under various categories, describe the movements of various animals in your own words. and appreciate the diversity in animal kingdom dear students would you like to listen to a story all right here it is once upon a time there was a girl whose name was poonam she loved to roam here and there one day her mother was looking for her and poonam was reading a book under a tree suddenly she heard birds chirping up above the tree she heard voices of some more animals she stood up and started looking for them let's find out what she saw on the tree wow what a huge tree it is Do you know the meaning of word huge? Okay, I tell you. It means very big. So, the tree is very big and huge. It has so many animals. Can you name them all? Yes, children, you are right. We have snake here. Two birds are here on the tree. one baby leopard is here monkey is also here so total how many animals are there on the tree yes there are total five animals very good children poonam saw some more animals on tv here they are can you tell me the names of these animals lion elephant monkey and deer very good children so all these animals they walk on land do you agree children have you seen them that's very good so have you seen them walking or running they always walk on land and these are land animals what about dog and cat they also walk on land so they are also land animals land animals are called mammals can you spell it out with me m a m m a l s mammals animals who walk on land are called mammals they give birth to their young one and they breathe like we humans do so we also walk on the land so are we mammal too think about it children i will ask this thing from you in the next video children what can you see in this picture yes so many fish so colorful fish where do fish live in the water correct here we have another picture where we can see water around the animals let's quickly name them all duck frog tortoise 
and two small birds. How many ducks are there? Let's count. One duck, two ducks, three ducks, four ducks and five ducks. So, there are five ducks in all. Ducks live in pond and pond is a water body. Tortoise lives on land but turtle can swim in water. Frog also can hop into the water. So children, animals like fish, duck, turtle, they all are called water animals because they live in water bodies. I think all these animals are having good time together here. See, two little birds and frog are looking so happy. Even ducks and tortoise are looking happy in this picture. After watching the land animals and water animals, Poonam went outside to play. She looked up at the sky and she was thrilled. She was very happy. You know why? Because she saw so many colorful birds. The birds were flying up in the sky. Birds have wings which help them to fly high in the sky. After some time, Poonam came back home. But she got scared. She saw a lizard on the wall. She was very scared. She shooed away the lizard. Then she started thinking, what kind of animal lizard is? So she asked her mom. Her mother told her that we have some animals which are called reptiles. Reptiles have scaly skin. They hardly have any hair on their body. They either crawl or slither on the surface. She gave her examples like turtle, lizard, crocodile, alligator or snake. They all are reptiles. In the evening, Poonam went to water the plants in her balcony. She saw Two butterflies were flying over the flowers. She saw them closely without disturbing the butterfly. She saw the colorful wings, antenna and bubble-like eyes. She wanted to know more about butterfly and other animals like butterflies. Next day, she asked her teacher about such animals. Her teacher told her that we have some animals that are usually small. They have three pairs of legs, antenna and generally round bubble-like eyes. They are called insects. For example, grasshopper, ladybug, bee, etc. And of course, a butterfly. They all are called insects. Can you spell it out? I N S E C T S Insects Dear students, now you know the main types of animals. They are land animals, water animals, insects, reptiles, birds, land animals are called mammals and so on. Now it's the time to learn that how these animals move. Look at the walking lion here. The lion usually walks on the land like 
us. Look at the elephant. The body of elephant is very heavy. So, the elephant cannot run with speed. The legs of the elephant are very big and very heavy. That is why the elephant stomps on the land. What does it do? The elephant stomps on the land. Now we have two more animals here. We have a frog and kangaroo. Frog hops from one place to another. You can see in the picture how frog hops. Whereas kangaroo jumps on the ground. Kangaroos have two tall legs at the back which helps the kangaroo to jump at a longer distance. Kangaroo is also a national animal of the country Australia. So children, frog hops and kangaroo jumps. Looking at the picture, you all know that how birds move. Come on, tell me. Correct. Birds fly in the sky with the help of wings. So birds fly. Now we have picture of slithering snake and swimming fish. Snakes slither on the land. They do not have any legs. You can see how snake is slithering. Fish swims in the water. Fish have fins which help them to swim easily. Now students, let's see how much you have learnt. Match the correct answer. There are two columns on the screen. In first column, animals are given. And in the second column, their movement is given. Come on, get your notebook. Or do it already, it's up to you. You have to match the animals with their correct movement. I am giving you 2-3 to three minutes. Come on, quickly do it. Okay, you can do it later. It is better to maintain one notebook now. Whatever work I will give you, you just do it in that notebook so that you can revise the things later on. Let's move further. Let's do the quick revision children. First we have fill in the blanks. I will read the sentences for you and you have to give me the correct answer. After one or two seconds, I will tell you the correct answer so that you can match with my answer. The first fill in the blank statement is Birds make their dash on trees. Come on, you all know this? Yes, correct. Birds make their nest on trees. Second one. Small bugs with six legs are called That is correct. Insects. Third, snake dash on the land. What is the movement of the snake? Slither. Very good. Now give one word answer. Animals that give birth to young ones and walk on land are called. That's correct. They are called mammals. Where does fish live? It's such a such an easy question. Come on, tell me. In the water. Very good. Now I have some creative exercises for you all. Observe the picture. Many animals are drawn here. But they are 
quite different because they are drawn using thumb printing technique. You have all done this before in your class second and first. So now make some animals using thumb printing technique and paste that sheet in your notebook. Children, you must have seen many animals too like Poonam. Write which of them can fly, which of them can crawl, walk, hop, which of them have wings, feet and a tail. You can do this work in your notebook as well. Poonam was a very good girl. She had a pet dog at her home. Every day, she takes it out with her for evening walk. She also gives it food on the right time. She loves her pet dog a lot. She takes care of all the animals around her. We should also take care of the animals. Animals are very lovely in nature. Until and unless we disturb them, they do not do any harm to us. Therefore, we should love animals. Thank you students. I hope you have enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.